What it is, guys. It's your boy, KMD Games, coming at you with another video. Happy New Year to everybody. Hope you guys are having a great year so far. This is my first official video of the year. Yeah, because not yeah, not including the real. But this is my first official video of the year. Hope everybody's doing great. So, look, I got to get back to answering some of these questions people have been leaving me either in my YouTube comment section or either on my um, game page on Instagram. If you're not following me on Instagram, it's one word, KMD Games, at KMD Games, all right? So someone asked me the question, what do I think about collecting rare or obscure games? Do I have a certain method? So that is a very good question. Um, I personally have my own do's and don'ts to buying rare or expensive or obscure games, right? So I'm just going to tell you my what, what, what I do. Uh, everybody's different. Everybody got their own thing they got going on, but this is just what I do. And this is just my theory. If I'm going to spend upwards to, let's say, $100 or more on a game, um, I don't care if it's Nintendo. I don't care if it's uh, a game, a uh, disc-based game, whether it's PlayStation, Xbox, wh whatever. Uh, I look for complete. Uh, okay, if I want to spend $100 or more, it has to be complete. Um, it doesn't have to be brand new. It doesn't have to be brand new. If it is brand new, cool. But I'm only going to spend so much on a brand new game depending on what it is. So if it is a used one opened up, the manual has to be there. The manual has to be in great condition. The case has to be in great condition. That's just that's something I will not bend or fold on unless it's just a crazy rare game and it's a good price and I just can't pass up on it. But other than that, I'm not I'm not bending those rules because um, I my first time collecting going into it uh, when I first became a collector, I made a lot of mistakes. Uh, I bought games where they were very expensive and um, the case was either missing the the manual was uh bent up and like i made a ton of mistakes and i don't want anybody else if you're going to start collecting or if you are collecting you already kind of know this but the new people i don't want you guys to make these mistakes because these are things that i wish i would have not done in the beginning so um yes if it's not complete for me if it's a, a cartridge if it's not if it's filthy or dirty and i i just i'm just not going to do it um and i understand cartridges are a little bit more um harder to find in good condition because let's be real they were out of the boxes hands were all over it they were in dusty attics they were everywhere so they're a little bit harder but i do know some game stores that do clean them up pretty well and shout out to them you guys are the real mvp and shout out to you game stores who are not putting the tags the actual pricing tags on the sticker of the game don't do that and don't put them on a manual too because or don't put them on the inserts like the the outside like when you open take the like the playstation 2 or xbox game when you take out the sleeve and they put stickers on some people actually did that and it's crazy to get off so um yeah me personally it has to look a certain kind of way the disc has to pay attention to the disc um the disc have to be good if it's a disc based game make sure it's not all scratched up let me tell you the probably what would be the hardest part about collecting rare or obscure games not only are you paying a lot of money but do you guys, if you guys are a collector, do you ever have a game in your collection that if it's a disc base or if it's a cartridge base that the first five minutes, the first one minute, it's, it's great. But then, you know, later on in the game, it's going to skip or, you know, later on in the game, if it's a cartridge that's going to like bug out. See, you don't know if it's going to your game is going to do that. It can work the first five minutes, the first 15, first 20 minutes. But later on, it can just bug out or mess up. And only the owner, the original owner, knows that. They're not going to go tell the game store, hey, hey, after the first 15 minutes, after the first two missions of this game, it's going to mess up. They're not going to take, they're not going to say that because they want their money. So, you know, just be mindful of things like that. And also, I always tell people, buy, if you're going to buy rare, expensive games, buy something that you're going to enjoy. Now, if you're not going to play it, and make sure you're going to enjoy looking at it because you're paying all that money for it. So just make sure you enjoy what you buy like me personally i'm going to have a uh case just like a regular case of uh, my rare and obscure games eventually that's the goal later on um i'm going to do that but again that's just me personally but let me know what you guys think in the comment section below if you guys are collectors what are your thoughts on collecting rare or obscure games? Do you have a guide that you go off of? Do Are there do's and don'ts that you don't do? Um, these were just mine, all right? So appreciate you guys. Um, a video game tour. I've just seen, I forgot, I did a video game room tour about five or six months ago. I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait a little bit because I just, I just put one up a couple months ago. So everything is everything's the same.
Everything's the same, pretty much. So I'm not going to do it right now. So probably in a couple more months later, or maybe I'll do it when I get back from Seattle and I have all these games because it's going to be an epic um, pickup video. I'm going to tell you guys that right now. So um, thank you guys for watching. Appreciate all the love and support you guys are still showing for my channel. Thank you. Um, I'll be going live playing the game probably soon. What game? I have no idea. I have a ton of games on my hard drive. You guys know that. I'll pick something and play it. All right. Peace out. Love you guys. Hope you guys are having a good one. And I'll see you on the flip side. Peace.